Alright, so a few days ago, I was kind of wondering how would you use uh, PokeGen to get Pokemon you created onto an emulator, and I was looking up a lot of tutorials, and a lot of t the tutorials I found gave the method, but they don't show the result, the end result. So I'm going to show you guys the method and the end result, because, you know, this is my first tutorial, I might as well go all out and go crazy with it. Anyway, so, what you have to do is, wherever you are in the game, just file, save state as, and save it as whatever, I have it saved here as heart gold DST, I'll just overwrite it, it doesn't matter. So there we go, we have that overwritten. Now that you've done that, open up your Pokegen, I have it open here. And what you gotta do is go to file, open, and select the DST file. This is gonna come up, it says unable to determine the save file, select from the list below to force it to be treated from being from a particular game. And it is from Heart Gold Soul Silver. If you press that, you can check uh, Black White 2, Black White, Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl. But we're playing from Heart Gold Soul Silver, so we're going to press OK. As you can see, I have a Tyranitar in the box already. That was from a test. And I, obviously, the test went correctly if the Tyranitar is there. Anyway, what we're going to do is just make a Pokemon really quickly. Uh, I'm going uh, to pick a Pokemon that can hatch from an egg. So we are going to take uh, Pokemon number one. We'll go for Bulbasaur. And I'll just give it a random nickname. We'll just give it Brute Root. Just so people know that it is made by me and that it's not in the box. I'll just show here anyway. As you can see, uh, Pokemon Box 1. There's only one Pokemon in there. And I didn't actually mean to select that, so we're going to not do that. Uh, as you can see, every box, zero Pokemon. So yeah, the Bulbasaur isn't in the game. It's not in my party, as you can see from the top. Just in case people are getting a little bit skeptical on whether I had the Bulbasaur in the game or not. So I'm going to leave the Bulbasaur on level 1 because I'm going to be hatching it from an egg, and this is only a quick tutorial, so I don't really need to worry about, e uh, well, about level and stuff. So I'll give it the Miracle Seed, seeing as it's a grass type, and that will make its grass type moves better. And Happiness, I believe, is always based at 70, so we'll get it 70. At In this generation, which is Generation 4, Bulbasaur can only have Overgrow, so we're going to be correct on the ability and give it Overgrow. And the origin is Pokemon Heart Gold. It goes all the way down to uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, which you can select there if you're planning on doing something. I don't know if you can do, actually, uh, Generation 3 Pokemon. I've never actually tried. Maybe I should. But we're going to make the Bulbasaur shiny because people like shiny Pokemon. And the location is going to be Daycare Couple, seeing as it's going to be hatched from an egg. So we'll just set it like that. And it is going to be in a Pokeball because it's coming from the Daycare. And all Pokemon from the daycare do be in Pokeballs, set to level 1. And it's going to be Egg, Pal Park, Event, Shaman, Honey Tree, it's, or whatever. And as an egg, we're going to make it hatch in Cherry Grove City, seeing as that's, oh, that's Cherry Grove, or actually in Cherry Grove. Uh, as you can see from the emulator, I'm in Cherry Grove City, so we're just going to set it to Cherry Grove City. And it doesn't have to be where you are, it can be anywhere, it just will say it hatched there, seeing as I'm in there right now. Uh... IVs and EVs, again, if you're doing competitive battling and you're using Pokemon to, or using Pokegen to create competitive Pokemon, then by all means, set your EVs and IVs to whatever you want them to, because I'm just doing this as a tutorial, and it doesn't matter, we're just going to set it to uh, randomize. Now, I'm going to give it a move set just so it doesn't, well, I, I guess I've proven already that I am doing this kind of right now, if the Bulbasaur isn't in the game, but I guess I might as well do it just in case people are still a little bit skeptical, because I know that can tend to happen. So we'll give it the razor, moves Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, uh, what else would be good? Giga Drain, we'll give it all grass type moves, I guess. And finally, we'll go with the Vine Whip. We'll make this thing a, it's actually kind of predominantly a physical attacker with Razor Leaf and Vine Whip, but whatever. So now that you've done that, just load from the save file, and it will come up with your ID and your secret ID, which in this case, it doesn't matter. Once you've done all that, just press right, well, not don't press, right click at any spot you want. I guess you could probably put it in your party if you want, but I'll just put it in the box. So, actually, we'll put it in my party. Yeah, we'll put it in the party. Why the hell not? So, uh, we'll go for set. There's Bulbasaur. So, we've done that. You can just save, save file. And now, go into your emulator. Load save from. Press that. And now let's check out our party here, see if Bulbasaur is in there. And it is, so you can't actually see it because I messed up with the screen, now you can see it. So there's Bulbasaur, and it has the moves, Leech Seed, oh actually you can see it because I'm recording the full screen, wow I'm stupid. Uh, it has Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, Giga Drain, and Vine Whip, the moves I gave it, it has Overgrow, 
and it has the Miracle Seed. It's from Cherry Grove City. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is this tutorial all wrapped up. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you for more videos shortly enough. Catch you then.